What's going on, you guys? I was just messing with that lady over there because she hates being on camera. She used to like scream at me. Seriously. If she was on camera, she would scream at me. Get that camera off me! She hated that, didn't you? I still do. Why? What is so bad about camera? It's showing your, your inner and outer beauty. Inner and outer, nothing. <laughs> we were here getting cigarettes. Red and taking that Hello. goose home. She's a goose. I have red hair. <laughs> Did you do your hair? Yeah, it's bright red. This is my other niece. God, I trolls are going to accuse me of wanting to be with you too. Oh, yeah. They already accused me of being a freak with my other niece, so God. Well, what can I say? We live down by Kentucky, so we likes to keep it in the family down around yonder. <laughs> right, Kari? Right to your left. What? It's hard, but what? Oh, and over there is Macadiddle that I plays a fiddle. Over here. I yeah, was just saying that right. we're from Kentucky. We like to keep it in the family. Yes. That's why we're here. Y'all know what they say about redheads, don't you? <laughs> just kidding. All right, you guys, anyways. Um, when we get back to the office, I'm going to be uh, showing you the Apple Watch that I got. My niece back there is really mad because I keep getting iPhones without her. For real? But I've only got the 7. Give it a month, you have a I, want, I do want the X, but I've got to wait 6 months. And I don't know. It's going to be different because you got to get used to not having a home button. Which that's gonna be different for me, but using voiceover and stuff, they I mean the difference is is without the home button you take your finger from the bottom of the screen and move it halfway up and it takes you to your home screen like the home button would do. So anyways, taking my uh, niece home, I gotta go make a payment and uh, we're gonna throw her out in a dumpster somewhere. Wow. Just kidding, you know I love you, girl. Anyways, you guys, let's, uh, yeah, let's take this goober back here home and move to the next scene, shall we? All right, so we are talking about the Apple Watch. And here I am, I have mine, I'm gonna take it off here. And that way I can show you guys exactly what we're dealing with once I get it off here. Hold on, people. There we go. All right. A real time view of a real unread notifications. Here it is. A real time view of unread notifications. Status bar item 8.09 p.m. 8.09 Okay, so, anyways, just want to show you. I've got on mine is the gold band with. The silver stop 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 i'm going to do this for a minute emergency at power off button power off so i'm going to shut it off a minute because every time i move it uh you know well you'll see um anyways let me make sure we're on track here yes, All right, so now we're on track. So I've got the uh, gold band um, with the silver cover. Well, silver casing. Um, what it does, it protects the edges of the watch and stuff like that. Um, and makes it look, you know, kind of neat. Um, when I first got this watch, I'm going to talk to you about something that I think is very important to understand when you get the watch. If you're getting the watch, if you're thinking about it. Whatever, you know, whatever the case might be. Um, the band is very important, okay? The, the band is, you need to make sure whatever band you get is the kind of band that you like. Personally, 
I think the magnetic band is way better. And I'm going to talk more about that here in a minute. But I'm going to walk over here and I'm going to grab the other band that comes with it. Which I did not like at all. Um, but it comes with it. So, you know, with that said, you can't really complain about that part. But I'm going to show you. When you get your watch, you're going to notice it. It's going to come with the long band, which will already be attached to the watch. And it's going to come with a shorter band, depending on your arm size. And, of course, this side of it. Now, I don't have these on my watch. But let me, let me set this down here. The bands for me. We're going to use the top of my fridge here for a minute. That's where I move this cord out of the way. And overlook my office, it is a mess. What can I say? All right, hopefully it's, hopefully you'll be able to see here. This one here is, the band goes through this right here, okay? And then you have two different lengths. So as you can tell, the one to the well, the one on the right side is longer, all right? Um, what I don't like about it is this. When you try to put this on, you have to try to, because there's, there's no, you know on a regular watch you got like a, on the end of it, you have a clip, right, like a buckle thing. Well, this has only got the one part of a buckle. The part that goes through the leather hoe on the band. Okay? So, you're trying to grab the, the bands and pull them together and put this through the right hole that fits best while the watch is on top of your wrist. You can't use both hands to pull it together, can we? Unless your hand can bend all the way down you're going to have problems with that. Now, when we go back to the kind of band that I went and got that you can get at your local Walmart for, uh, actually I believe mine was on sale for $13. And this is not an advertisement for Walmart. So, just so everybody knows, not an advertisement. Um, go to Walmart grab you uh, the other kind of band if you if you see that you're going to have problems with the same band that I do not like. The band that I do like. Let me set this down because it's so magnetic. It's all bunched up. See? Um, let, me, let me set you down a second. Just set that down for a minute so I can do this okay so I'm gonna try to find a way to set my phone down where you can still see me and I can show you exactly what's going on here maybe we can do it like this I hope Make sure we're still recording and everything. Okay, good. Good. Hopefully you can see me. I hope. Alright, so. Seems kind of high to me, but that's okay. Um, this is the band. You put it through here. Like this. Put it on your wrist, which I'm doing now, and then you can adjust it. Once you got it where you want it, there you go. Can you guys see that? Very simple to do. And when you want to take it off, very easy. Just, just like this, and pull 
right through. Or you can just slide it off your wrist, however you want to do it. Um, but it's much, much easier. So there's how big the band is when it's to its fullest. And you can probably even get uh, ones that's got longer things if you got a really big arm. But you can adjust this thing pretty much to however you want. Watch how little it gets. See? I mean, you can go, you're not going to have an arm that small, but still. Um, that's what I like about this band. Um, you can get them in different colors. You can get... Uh, Get it in gold. You can get a gold band. You can get a blue band. Uh, don't worry, ladies. You were not left out. You can get a um, a uh, girly color band if that's if that's what you uh, choose to do. Um, let's see here. I got to flip that back like that. Yeah, there we go. Um, but I don't have it on my arm right now because I wanted to show you and talk about. Uh, some of the stuff on it and just give you an idea of how voiceover does work does you know does voiceover work good with it and all that I say yes um, if you have the Apple Watch 3 you will need to update it when you get it I don't think it's going to come with the latest updated version mine didn't when I reset mine because I did, I did something wrong I reset it and there was an update so I don't know if it's because the new update just came out or because no, that wouldn't be the case. Um, so yeah, you'll probably have to update it, but it's real simple to do. If you guys would like me to go through that, if you're a voiceover user and you would like a video on how to do that with voiceover, how to, you know, uh, set your your phone up with your watch and all that, it's really really simple to do, to be honest. But if you like that, I can. I can go through and, and, you know, help you get through that if you would like. Um, for the time being, we're just going to talk about voiceover on this. So you have two buttons on here. You have the crown, which is the round one that you can turn, you know. Um, and then you have the flat one. The flat one is what you push to turn it on, which I just pushed now. And then you're going to get the, if you have any vision, you'll see there's a little apple on the front. Um... If not, be patient. Hold the button for, I'd say, five seconds. Let go. Give it time. And you'll, you know, it'll come on. Um, if you're a voiceover user and you're going to go get you one of these watches, you take it out of the box and turn it on. Okay. Once your phone sees this on, it's going to let you set everything up through your phone. It's that simple. Um, I don't think you'll run into no problems. I didn't. Uh, you can also hold in the crown button for about three seconds and tell it to turn on voiceover. If for some reason voiceover is not on. Best way to do it. Easiest way to do it. Go through your phone setting and do it that way. Okay. Eight, a real time view of Earth. Eight, twen, a real time view of Earth. Current so location on Earth. Latitude. A real there time are different PM. Uh, screens you can use on your watch. Okay. There's different ones. Um, that's going to be preference. Honestly, does it work okay with you? Uh, do you like the way voiceover is reading everything? I think it's preference, to be honest. A real -time view of Earth. Uh, Current location on Earth. So let's look at some of the stuff that you're going to see on your watch. I'm not sure I understand. Let me hit this again. Sorry. I'm not, I'm not sure. No, you didn't understand. Let me, let me pull this up for you. Come on. I'm not sure I understand. Eight, a 
Harbor, 8.21 p.m. Minus 2 minutes, 8.18 p.m. Clock. Okay. Stopwatch. So on your main screen. Clock. World clock. Alarm. Fun. May. Map. Harp. Remote. And you've got the update version. Cam. Stop. Stop. Right? You're going to see stocks. Camera. Camera. Photos. Photos. Weather. Weather. Calendar. Calendar. News. News. Reminders. Reminders. Heart rate. Heart rate. Maps. Maps. Mail. Mail. Phone. Phone. Alarm. Alarm. World clock. 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 Stopwatch. Stopwatch. Timer. Timer. Workout. Workout. Activity. Activity. Messages. Messages. Home. Home. Walkie-talkie. Walkie-talkie. Find my friends. Find my friends. Music. Music. Breathe. Breathe. Radio. Radio. Remote. Remote. Settings. Settings. Wallet. Wallet. Podcasts. Podcasts. Um, Actions available. They're just all kinds of different uh, stuff that you're going to see on here. Wallet. All this stuff you can control through your iPhone. So if you're not sure what it is, you just want to mess with it, play with it through your watch or go through your iPhone and mess with it. Um, Bottom line is, some are worried that they're going to hurt the watch. It's just like having your iPhone. Worst case scenario, you just reset it. It's not that hard to do. So, um, the one thing I wanted to show you was, how do you turn the phone off? On the side, by your crown, you got the other flat button. You hold that in. You'll feel it vibrate, and then you're going to have a couple options. Power off. Power off. Emergency SOS. Emergency SOS. Now, that is a really cool feature. Slider. Hint. That will actually allow you power off. to call for help. Double so, let's say you're in a situation. Cancel. Button. We're going to cancel Button. that. You're in a situation, and, and you need help. That's going to allow you to do that. Um, I'm going to go ahead and put this on my wrist because I'm going to be talking about it mostly now. Actions available. Uh, okay. Let's adjust this. I've got a little wrist, so. Uh, there we go. But that's what I like about this is it's easy to adjust and it's not a pain in the butt. Now, the tricky part is the band putting it on there. Um, basically, turn the watch over. You're going to feel a little, a little button you push in and then it just slides off your watch. Okay. So, it's... You, you can figure that out. Honestly, I, I don't even think I need to do a video on that because I think you can figure that out. Um, if you are a voiceover user, I will tell you that there's a lot to learn. Uh, you might think like I did when, when you go to get it, like, oh, well, you know, there's not going to be any type of challenge or anything. It's different. You got you to gotta think you, you're touching a screen that, you know, it's much smaller than your iPhone. So, that's the first thing. Uh, the second thing is, there's not no three-finger, double-tap, triple-tap, all that. Um, the crown, if you click it three times, by default, that will turn on and turn off voiceover. You click it three times, you push it three times uh, repetitively. So, fast okay i'm <laughs> trying to think how do i say that uh but just that, that, that and that's done okay um try the different faces again through your phone you can you can look at all of this uh i've got my my other phone on me so i'm going to show you now okay so 
let me get to the watch. Ships. Podcast. Find, find my contact. Files. Watch. Utility. Watch. Watch. My watch. Heading. Search. Se- activity digital. Seconds. White. Two. Edit faces. My faces. Johnny's Apple Watch. 42 millimeters. Button. Okay, and the screen that I have is a 42 millimeter. I suggest that um, you can get either 42 and then the, I think the smaller screen one is 36, I believe. My faces. Edit faces. Button. So when you open your app on your phone, Seconds. it's going to show you the different faces. Activity. So have a, ha, have a listen Activity. here. Faces. Activity digital. Seconds. Right. Two complications. Workout. Activity. Watch face. One of eleven. Kaleidoscope. Flower eye. Facet. Three complications. Breathe. Heart rate. Date. Watch face. Two of eleven. Now what that means by complications is what will be on the default screen when you raise your wrist to check the time or something. So, for example, breathe, heart rate, and breathe, heart rate, and date is on that one. Now, listen. It tell you what they are. Listen. Siri, zero, two complications. Siri, date, watch face, three of eleven. Double tap to edit face. Date, and uh, what it says. Siri, zero, two complications. Siri, date, watch face, three of eleven. Siri and date. Now you can you can customize that and get rid of and what it means is that the top left hand corner it'll say Siri, top right hand corner it'll say the date. You can change that on what's up in your left hand corner. You can have it be the time, uh, appointments. Just listen to a couple more here. Utility four light orange four complications activity breathe date now playing watch face four of eleven. See double tap modular multicolor five complications date activity breathe workout heart rate. Watch face, Toy Story, Toy Box, one complication, date, watch face, 6 of 11. So there's all kinds of different uh, settings in there, um, and I'd be here all night to try to show you that. So check out your, you know, if you get an Apple Watch, let me know how you like this. Do you want me to do a more extensive review? If you do, I will, but there's so much to show. I like the Apple Watch, the 3 or the 4. I think they're both good. Uh, Be sure to give me a like. Uh, leave your comments, questions. I'd be glad to answer anything. And, you know, hey, if you're sighted, you don't need voiceover. You got this. You'll figure it out. It can be frustrating in the beginning, but just be patient. You'll get through it. Like, share, subscribe, and go get yourself an Apple Watch today.